Aho, Heal Thy Heart Tribe. Welcome back for another video. And all of our Inspire the Collective community also. Thank you for tuning in. This is just another video of us introducing one of our integration coaches, Miss Aliyah, as she joins our team, our tribe, our collective to support, to encourage, and be a catalyst for you and your journey, whether it's with plant medicine or without. But as we interview her, allowing her to showcase what it is, her specialties, her strategies, her reason to come to the medicine, and why she is a coach. Please enjoy this video and this connection and this interview with Miss Aliyah. First, she's gonna share with us, what is it that brought her to plant medicine to begin with? Hi guys, my name is Alia. I am a certified life coach and energy healer. I specifically focus on spiritual life coaching and I use that through my holistic healing practices such as energy healing, energy clearings, cord cuttings, in home and in person uh, healings as well. And I also focus a lot on healing ceremonies. So what initially brought me to the medicine was a few years ago during a breathwork session. And during my breathwork session, I was able to tap into parts of my body and my mind that I have never tapped into before. And that really got me thinking, you know, where can I go with this and how can I explore my mind, body, and soul? And that's when I started connecting with people and from there led me to, you know, many people who have done medicine before and that's when I started exploring more into ayahuasca and plant medicine. Thank you, Miss Alia. What is it that brought you to being a coach? Why integration coaching? What brought you to this field to serve others, to be there and connect and encourage others to get to another version or greatest state of self? So the main reason that I became a coach was specifically after I started developing my healing skills and techniques. I have had the ability to tap into people's energies, for many years and slowly I started connecting with many healers and coaches as well throughout my journey who helped me really bring out you know what my skills were and how I was able to tap into these skills and how I can use them effectively um, from there I really 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 wanted to be able to share this with people in a way that was not only from a healing standpoint but also in a way a therapeutic standpoint and to kind of mix the two together which would create you know this spiritual coaching that a lot of people call it today Alia, okay, what is your specialty or what is your area of expertise within the realm of integration coaching? Because so many people have different specialities, different areas of focus. What is it for you so our community can connect to you and see if you resonate with them the best? My specialty is spiritual life coaching and spirituality is so complex yet so simple. And for us, when our body, mind, soul and spirit are all aligned that's when we're able to really focus in and understand what our true purpose is where we are going and how we're getting there amazing thank you so much and what is it your or what is your favorite part about being an integration coach or what are your personal strengths favorite part about being a coach and a healer and mixing both into spirituality and spiritual life coaching is that you have the ability to be a guide to the people that you're working with and to show them that they are their own healers and it is the most beautiful thing to see when you're seeing all of these new skills and tools and techniques that your clients and the people that you're working with are finding within themselves in order to heal themselves because at the end of the day we are we are our own healers thank you in what is this for me is one of the things that I had to awaken to and realize in my journey is beyond plant medicines. What is the most difficult part that people face about returning home after plant medicine ceremonies, just so they can start to connect with and understand what it is that integration coaching really fills that gap and helps encourage people along their journey and continuing to work with the medicine and within themselves. 
the hardest things about taking medicine and coming back home into your regular life is knowing that you are a completely changed person, whether that be spiritually, energetically, sometimes even physically, and coming back into the real world and knowing and being okay with the fact that not everyone will understand that. And that is one of the most difficult things that we face when we take medicine because we go into these beautiful experiences and sometimes sometimes even traumatic experiences which leads us to this profound healing that bringing that into words or even action storytelling to the, your friends close family it might not be something that is going to be understood and that's okay but being okay with that and continuing on that journey of healing staying focused and understanding that you will eventually be connected with like-minded people and you do have the ability to make an impact even though the people around you may not have done the medicine it's a beautiful dance that you get to do once you come back if you are integrating in the correct way thank you so much alia for all your answers for all your sharing for all the beauty that you're bringing not only to our collective and our tribe but to those that you're impacting those that you're leading those that you are being a catalyst for in their journey I just want to say thank you so much for sharing that with us. You can connect with Alia by going down into the description. We will leave her email and also her social media accounts where you can connect with her further, deeper, and see her mission, vision, and, and how she just shares herself with the world. Also, if you want to connect more with Inspire the Collective or with Heal Thy Heart specifically, uh, we do have retreats coming up here in June and May, also in August. If you're looking for more information, you're, you're looking to connect more with our community, down in the description will be our website, our email, and our social media accounts so that you can do that there. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you from us, from our tribe, from our community, from, from a place of just seeking your own inner greatness. We appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you in the very near future to join us here in Costa Rica on an upcoming retreat with Heal Thy Heart. Take care, everyone. Love y'all.